Did you hear about the school board shooting in Panama City? Yes, I heard. How awful. At least nobody was hurt, except for the gunman himself. You're right. We can be grateful for that. But what is America coming to when crazy gunmen just walk into places and start shooting at people? If only someone in that meeting had had a concealed weapon, it could have ended a lot better. A concealed weapon? How would that have improved things? If there had been an armed citizen at that meeting, he could have stopped that psycho much sooner. You've got to be kidding me. Let's examine what you're in favor of for a moment. You are in favor of every random Joe on the street having a gun. So, when there is a crime, in your ideal situation, several dozen random people would whip out guns and start pretending to be Dirty Harry. Oh, you're one of those bleeding heart anti-gun liberals. Please don't interrupt. The problem is that they aren't Dirty Harry. Untrained people running around with firearms is a recipe for disaster. And before you say it, I was in the military, and concealed weapons training courses are not real training. They're a joke, so what's your solution then? There was only one guard at the meeting, and he had never shot anyone before, and the other people in the meeting had? I don't think so, you're not getting the point. There was only one guard. What if there had been more than one psycho? When seconds count, the police are only minutes away. It's unlikely that there would have been more than one. Psychos tend to operate alone because they are, you know, psycho. There aren't enough criminally unstable psychopaths walking around for them to organize. If we need more police, let's get more police. If we need more or better trained licensed security guards like the one at that meeting, then let's get them. But Clint Eastwood movies are just that. Movies. Guns used for law enforcement need to be in the hands of trained professionals. This isn't the movies, and it's not the Wild West, so in your ideal situation, those poor people would have just sat there until the police arrived? That psycho chose that place because guns weren't allowed there. If guns are prohibited, then only criminals will have guns. If there had been an armed citizen at that meeting, let me tell you what would have probably happened if someone else in that meeting would have had a gun. A bunch of board members would probably have been shot because I guarantee that as soon as any untrained civilian saw that psycho's gun go off, he would have panicked and just started spraying bullets. That is what untrained people do when they hear gunshots. They shoot at anything that moves. I've seen it. Thank God when I saw it, we weren't using real ammunition or I wouldn't be here. You think you are so smart. Guns aren't hard to use. Gun control means using both hands. Please stop insulting my intelligence with your idiotic slogans. You have no idea what you are talking about. If you read the news story, the psycho was eight feet from the nearest board member. Do you think that is not in the field of fire for a panicky civilian with a handgun? Want to bet me it's not? I'm not a teed gun. I'm just in favor of an intelligent approach as opposed to knee-jerk reactions when it comes to things that can kill people. That psycho deserved to die. He deserved to have bullets sprayed at him. You bleeding hearts don't have the stomach to deal with violent situations. You can't solve tough situations with sunshine and bluebirds and pretty flowers. Now you are being really idiotic. Like I said, the gunman was eight feet from the nearest board member, well within the field of fire. Remember, guns kill, period. They can just as easily kill someone you didn't mean to aim at as they can the guy who spooked you. You can have my gun when you pry it from my cold, dead fingers. Oh my god. You really are hopeless. Some people don't want to grow up. They just want to be cowboys. These people are not the ones who know how to solve problems. The USA is the most peaceful nation on the face of the earth because we are free and that freedom comes from the fact that we can defend ourselves with really big guns. I think you are seriously confused. I think you should check your facts. The US has the highest per capita murder rate of any industrialized nation in the entire world. The US is the most consistently at war nation of any industrialized nation in the entire world. That means that the only nations with higher murder rates and more constant warfare than us are third world countries the likes of Somalia, Rwanda, Sudan, the site of the Darfur genocides, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. No other first world nation comes anywhere near the amount of violence which Americans commit either against one another or against other nations. 
Where do you get your information? Glenn Beck and Bill O'Reilly. That explains it. I don't want to listen to your hippie bullcrap anymore. I'm leaving. Of course you are. I have refuted your logic at every turn. It is clear that your positions are not well thought through. Whatever. Stupid communist liberal.